G'day guys, today we're going to be building this cubby tire tread. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. So we've dug our hole quite large. We've got a small offcut from one of the metal pipes that we're going to be placing in the ground. We can use wood as well for these ones. We're using metal because this area is prone to very heavy monsoon, so going with metal just to keep it lasting quite a bit longer. We're using the tires as a reference. So we've made little walls around this using bricks. You can use whatever you like, got wood, and then you can take that out afterwards. Basically something to hold those positions so you can pour your cement. You might have to have it a little drier, this so it doesn't leak through any gaps you might have. Then we can put our metal poles in the ground, use a plumb bob to make sure that the whole thing sits straight, where we can then put cement in. After you've poured your concrete, you want to make sure that you get a whole lot of water, splash that over the top so that the whole thing doesn't get too dry and crack. Clean up any previous rusting with a bit of turps or something like that you've got lying around. We're going to put some red oxide primer on those to make sure that they don't rust out, especially in the ground level where you can't see any rust happening. It's really important to make sure you've got a good coating. We're going to pack it in really, really tightly around those pipes. I'm using a lot of water as well and just smashing it in with a stick or whatever you've got uh, with your feet even. Do a little dance on it, make sure it's compact. So we're going to go down about 8 centimetres here. As long as you've got the same measurements all the way around. 8 centimetres here, making a little mark on the metal. Same from that line that you drew horizontally, measuring down 8 centimetres again. And then we'll drill through both of them. And also label all of these tyres B, C, D so you know which piece is going to line up to it. Then we also want to make a mark on the tyre where it will running in the same direction as the bolt is going to go. Make a mark there and also then on the metal. So those lines are all running in the same direction. Then once we've got that we're going to take a measurement from the corner of this tyre here going down through about the middle, making sure they don't cross over with the, already, the bolts that are already in there. And then we can drill through all of the tires, make a mark, and drill through the metal as well. So for this one we didn't have quite enough treads, so we just used some metal instead which was lying around and that'll do the job as well. Just ensuring that the space in between those isn't going to be an entrapment hazard. So anything larger than 23 centimetres should be fine. So with these two centre poles that we've got here, you might need to make some slight adjustments. We just have to trim this one in a little bit, cut that off to make sure it's all lining flat. Then we can pop the tire treads on top as you can see here. And we're just laying these ones down and cutting them to size as we go. So working from one end along to the next.
Get a really great paint job on all of these pieces when you're all finished up. Get a couple of layers on those so they make sure that they're going to stick around for a long time and after a lot of kids use and playing on them. One thing to remember is to create some holes right at the bottom of these tyres. Best to do it forehand, it makes it a lot easier. Make sure those holes are going to be big enough so that water can flow through nice and easily. With all of these pieces, make sure you download the step-by-step -step instructions. They'll be a huge help to you as you go along. We've gone through this one as you can see, but it's been a huge help. It'll show you what sort of materials, tools and techniques you need to build these pieces. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch, so check them out here.